Our first stop on our tour of Midsummer Scream here in Long Beach is beyond the fifth dimension, creating the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. We're going to learn all about creating the ride. That door is opening once again, but this time it's opening for you. Long Beach, 2017. Amid the hustle and bustle of the Southern California seaport, Midsummer Scream is a star in its own right, a gathering place for the Halloween elite. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. Today's presentation is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This is you may recognize as the Terrace Theater, still an operation and waiting for you. We invite you if you dare to sit back now and take a deep breath. In today's terror dream, you are the fans. And this theater travels directly to you. The Twilight Song.
So as we enter, we have Boneyard Effects, and for Midsummer Scream, they're putting face paint on all of them. If you want to get made up like a monster, here's where you come to do it. Boneyard Effects also has a photo op on display where you can get a picture with the Adams family. Well, Gomez and Morticia aren't there, but all the rest of the family is, so this is pretty cool. Especially if you're a fan of the Adams family. Do you guys want to create that famous scene from The Shining at your house? You can buy a prop of the wall and the door with the section cut out so you can have your own Shining fun. Red Rob. Next up on our clan exploration, a Midsummer Scream, we have Not Scary Farm Panel. We have some new mazes for this year's ha haunt event. You ready to see what's going to be scary down at the farm? I can't wait to see what they reveal. After the disappointment of the Knots maze yesterday, where they basically only announced Elvira's going to do a final show and basically a redo of an old maze, I come to and I come to the Knots booth on the show floor and look at this design. They've got like zombies and they're going to eat this kid, and they have characters that are going around. See, this is what I thought the 
announcement would be, it was going to be something themed to this maze, like people are getting fed to zombies to satiate them or something and stop them from spreading or something, but I don't know. But the other cool thing about the Knott's booth is, unlike having a normal table, look at their table. It's a coffin with a withered up old corpse inside of it.
If you're a foolish mortal and you would like to add some macabre pieces to your hauntingly good collection, this is imafoolishmortal.com. They do Haunted Mansion artwork that is themed to the stretching portraits, to Madame Leota, to the Hatbox Ghost, to others. But they also do some combinations of Disney characters in the Haunted Mansion, as well as other Disney-style artwork and pieces. Follow them at imafoolishmortal.com. I'm going to put a link in the description box. So today what we're going to do is we're going to give a little sneak peek of some of the things you can expect to see at Halloween Horror Nights 2017. So, Ash vs. Evil Dead, how many of you guys are fans of Ash vs. Evil Dead? Uh, if you know the show, you know Ash, he's living in the Bossy Haven trailer park. So, uh, one of the challenges scenically we have to do is, is create a trailer. Um, we really love the idea that Ash comes back to Elk Grove, Michigan, which is his childhood home. So, kind of the cool thing about this maze is you have a facade which is out front with the trailer park, but as you go through the first section of the maze, you come to a whole other two story facade. We get to take you into Ash's childhood room, which, of course, is just right with a million pop culture references and all these Easter eggs from the Evil Dead franchise. We're absolutely going to take you to the cabin in the woods. You're going to run into Amanda, who Ash briefly had a crush on in the show until she died a horrible, tragic death. Really exciting thing that at least we're really excited about because it harkens back to the other Evil Dead films is Slime Henrietta. Oh. So we're building a Henrietta right now. Yes. Um, it's a pretty complicated little piece of puppetry, uh, but you will get to encounter Henrietta as you did not only in Ash vs. Evil Dead but also from the films as well. People always ask us, you know, are there are there movies that you have wanted to do for a long time that you've never got a chance to do. This would be one of them. Uh, for many, 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 many years, we've considered but also been, frankly, kind of terrified to do The Shining. Oh, yeah. It's not an easy movie to translate into what we do. If you were going to make a Shining face, give me one thing that should be in it. Okay, I heard Red Run, I heard Hedge Maze, I heard Twins. The Twins, the Brady Twins. Blood. That's what the free sale is. Everybody, Kabish? Okay, next one. Thank you very much. That concludes our coverage of Midsummer Scream. Never been to a Halloween convention before, so that was pretty interesting. I also went to a panel about Are You Afraid of the Dark? The kid show from the 90s that gave many kids, including myself, nightmares. But the question I always had growing up was, why was Are You Afraid of the Dark so scary, so terrifying to me? But another show like Goosebumps, which the books were were scary and creepy, the show wasn't. It was 
kind of like mildly horrifying, but not really. And they answered it. They said, because Goosebumps was on local channels, which was Fox Kids, so basic cable. And Are You Afraid of the Dark? was on cable. It was on Nickelodeon. A lot, Not a lot of people had Nickelodeon. So that's why they can... That's why the creators were allowed to get away with it being so much scarier. Now, while I find a cool place to hang my cool new art pictures, until I see you guys next time for our next clan exploration, always remember, keep it kosher. Here's a better look at the giant murals they have for each season. Now remember that they don't have the most current season, but American Horror Story Cult will premiere September 5th, 2017.